there is a brand new hair loss drug that just showed impressive results. Today, we're talking about Clascotron 5%, a topical anti-androgen that might actually become useful for hair loss. It's not approved yet, but the phase 3 data are strong. Therefore, many hair specialists are watching it very closely. Clascotron is a topical anti-androgen. You apply it directly to the scalp. With male pattern hair loss, DHT binds to receptors in the hair follicle and slowly shrinks the follicle. Finasteride and dutasteride reduce how much DHT your body makes, but clascoterone takes a different route. It blocks the androgen receptor inside the follicle, so even if DHT is present, it can't dock properly. And therefore, in theory, you get hair protection without changing your whole hormone system. If you watch my spironolactin video, you remember this. It also blocks androgen receptors, but it does it systemically all over the body. That means it can raise potassium and affect the heart. It can cause breast enlargement, reduced libido, and erectile dysfunction in men. And therefore, in my practice, I do not use spironolactone for male pattern hair loss. Good mechanism in theory, but the price is too high for male patients. Now here's the interesting part. Mechanistically, Clascoterone is in the same family of thinking as spironolactone. Both are androgen receptor blockers. But spironolactone works from the inside out, through your whole bloodstream. Clascoterone works from the outside in, on the skin and hair where you apply it. So clascoterone is like taking the good part of spironolactone's concept and localizing it to the scalp. Because it's topical and mostly stays where you put it, systemic side effects in trials have been similar to placebo. Skin irritation can happen, but we're not seeing the low libido, and feminizing or hormone-related issues you worry about with oral spironolactone in men. Same anti-androgen logic, but a totally different safety story. And therefore, this one actually has a chance to become a real hair loss treatment for men. Two big phase 3 trials tested Clascoterone 5% solution in over 1400 men. In both studies, the Clascoterone group grew more hair than the placebo group. One study showed a larger boost in hair count. The other showed a smaller but still clearly better result than placebo. Hair trials are noisy, but when both studies point in the same direction, we consider that a real effect. Side effects? Again, very similar to placebo overall, and mostly mild local issues. So, it works better than doing nothing, and it doesn't seem to punish the rest of the body, and therefore, it passed phase 3 trials. Important reality check. You cannot buy Clascoterone 5% for hair loss yet. It's still waiting for regulatory decisions. So, right now, it's a very promising future option with a new mechanism we've been wanting for years, and a better safety concept than spironolactone for men, but not a replacement for current treatments today. When it does arrive, I expect it will often be used as an option for men who fear systemic side effects, as an add-on to finasteride, dutasteride, or minoxidil, and as part of a wider plan that may include hair transplant. So to recap, one class coderone blocks androgen receptors in the follicle, like a targeted topical cousin of spironolactone. Two, phase three trials show real hair growth versus placebo. Three, safety. So far looks similar to placebo and not like systemic spironolactone in men. Four, it's not approved yet, but it could become one of the most important new drugs in male pattern hair loss. If you want updates on new hair loss meds, an honest talk about what's hype and what's real, subscribe and I'll keep translating the science into plain language for you.